Hormone replacement therapy is a treatment to supplement the body with hormones such as estrogen, testosterone, or progesterone to alleviate symptoms of hormone imbalance. Two common methods of administering hormones are hormone pellets and injections. Both approaches have their advantages and disadvantages, and understanding the differences between them can help you make informed decisions about your hormone replacement treatment. First, let's talk about the administration process, starting with pellets. Hormone pellets are small, custom compounded cylinders, almost looking like rice granules, containing hormones like estrogen or testosterone. They are implanted under the skin, typically in the hip or buttocks area, during a quick, non-painful procedure. The pellets slowly release hormones over several months. Injections involve injecting hormones directly into the muscle tissue or subcutaneously. Depending on the hormone and dosage, injections may be administered weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly. This method requires regular visits to a healthcare provider for administration or easy at-home administration. One of the primary benefits of hormone pellets is their ability to provide a consistent release of hormones into the bloodstream. This helps usually maintain stable hormone levels, minimizing fluctuations and symptoms associated with hormone imbalances. While injections can also provide consistent hormone levels when administered on a regular schedule, there may be slight fluctuations between doses. If you miss or delay injections, that can lead to variations in hormone levels, potentially causing symptoms to resurface. So you always wanna make sure if you're on injections, you are on top of your injections. Now let's move on to the convenience and compliance aspect. Pellets, once implanted, require minimal maintenance. Clients do not need to remember to take daily pills or weekly injections. However, pellet insertion does involve a minor surgical procedure, which may not be suitable for everyone. Injections require regular visits to a healthcare provider for administration or easy at-home administration. While some individuals may find the routine manageable, others struggle with compliance due to inconvenience, frequent appointments, or forgetting to do their own injections. Like any medical procedure, Hormone pellets insertions and injections carry potential risks, including infection, bruising, discomfort at the site of injection or implantation. There also could be uneven hormone release. Rare cases, individuals may experience allergic reactions or small scar tissue at the injection or implantation site. One of the biggest differences between pellets and injections is its reversibility. Once hormone pellets are implanted, their effects cannot be immediately reversed. The pellets have to gradually dissolve and hormone levels return to baseline as the hormones are metabolized by the body. However, if you have adverse effects, patients may need to wait until the pellets fully dissolve or undergo a surgical procedure to remove them if it's really bad. This is extremely rare, I've never seen it. Hormone injections offer greater reversibility. If a patient experiences unwanted side effects or decides to discontinue treatment, they could stop receiving injections immediately and hormone levels will gradually return to baseline over the course of a few weeks. This flexibility can be advantageous for individuals who are uncertain about long-term hormone therapy. Both pellets and injections offer effective options for hormone replacement therapy. The choice between the two methods ultimately depends on individual preferences, lifestyle factors, and medical considerations. While hormone pellets provide consistent hormone levels with minimal maintenance, injections offer flexibility in dosage and frequency. Our skilled healthcare professionals at Genesis will carefully evaluate your goals and curate a personalized treatment plan to help you achieve optimal hormone balance. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, comment below, share it with anybody who you feel could benefit from hormone replacement therapy.